uh, as you probably know that liver has got eight segments. So segment one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Um, so people who require, uh, depending upon the volume of the liver, you can take the right over the liver using these four segments, or you can use uh, the left over the, of the liver using these three segments. So based on that, we can actually uh, do the hepatectomy, the liver resection, and then give the liver. So that's the advantage of having the uh, the uh, liver trans the segmental anatomy. Um, so that's the reason why we can we're able to successfully do the liver transplant, living donor liver transplantations. And the first transplant, you probably somebody some some of you may have seen this gentleman. He's a he's a pioneer in uh, hep in uh, liver transplantation. Uh, Mr. Uh, Dr. Thomas Stiles. He did his first uh, liver transplant in 1963, and um, uh, first few were been unsuccessful. Uh, but after five transplants, they understood that we need better immunosuppression. And since then, the success rate of liver transplant has been quite significant. Now we're looking at survival rates of more than you know 98% survival rates, even after 10 years down the line. So even for transplants done for younger kids, like even newborn kids um, who have got biliary atresia, for example, where we can uh, do liver transplants for these younger kids, um, uh, neonates, infants, and uh, they grow to have a normal, healthy, uh, adulthood, normal jobs, normal family life, normal careers, and also to the, uh, to the elderly group as well. So uh, that's primarily because you're able to select the, the patients well, we've got various scoring systems internationally being used, which has refined us to understand which patients will do well with the liver transplant and which patients we should not be offering liver transplant. And not only that, these patients with better surgical techniques, better ICU care, and more importantly, better medications were able to successfully do liver transplants for these patients. So, I mean, I, I, you, I am passionate about liver transplant, but of course, this is something which has evolved in front of our eyes and it is uh, a, a, a treatment which is going to stay for, for a long time and the refinements are still happening. And certainly it makes a huge difference uh, whenever you know we see these patients who are at the death door you do a liver transplant for these patients and they do well and then go back to the normal routines and work uh, life. So um, so that gives an immense satisfaction for us. This liver transplant has definitely made a wonders to a lot of, lot of patients.